Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. I am Kurt Ludington, your resident host and bartender. Today we're going to be mixing up the White Russian, a good friend of mine, Wolfgang Kirby, who is also a faithful follower of the YouTube channel, requested that we make a White Russian. A little bit of history about the White Russian cocktail in 1998. A movie called The Big Lebowski came out and it was an overnight sensation. And with that came the overnight sensation of the White Russian because that was his preferred cocktail. I guess during the movie, from what I've heard and what I've read, he had seven White Russians during the movie. So with the fame of The Big Lebowski played by Jeff Bridges, came the instant fame of the cocktail, the White Russian. So we're going to mix that up today for my good buddy, Wolfgang. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, if you just take one second and hit that subscribe button. Once you've done that, hit that notification bell, and that way you don't miss a single episode of the show. And that would be great. All right, let's get into this White Russian. I know this is silly. It doesn't sound right coming from me. But we're going to make the White Russian just in a simplistic, easy way that anybody can do at any time at home. And then we're going to put an SLB spin on it. I know. It's what I do. All right. Very easy. Easy to remember. The ingredients is every ingredient is one ounce. One ounce of everything. So we are going to start with vodka. I'm using Kettle One Vodka. You can use whatever vodka that you have at home. Right now I have Kettle One. We're also going to build this cocktail, as you've noticed, right in the glass. We're not going to shake it. We're not going to put it in a mixing glass. We're going to put it right in a single rocks glass over a beautiful clear sphere of ice. Next we're going to put a coffee liqueur in. We're going to go with the old standard Kahlua. You can, you can pour in whatever coffee liqueur that you have at home. Today we will be using Kahlua. One ounce. All right, that is all the spirits of the cocktail. And the last ingredient of the cocktail is just heavy cream. Don't use milk. Don't use vitamin D milk. Don't use 50-50. Go all the way and hit up on that heavy cream. One ounce. Heavy cream. All right. Once we have that in a cocktail, I forgot my mixing spoon. All we're going to do is just give it a good stir just for a little bit. We're going to just get all of the ingredients incorporated together. A little bit of a chill. It doesn't really need that much dilution. Just get everything combined. That's all you want to do. And that'll be fine. And that's the easy standard white Russian. That's not bad. I have to say, I am not a coffee drinker. I'm not a huge coffee fan. So I, I obviously wouldn't put this in my top 10 just because I'm not a coffee lover. But to be honest with you, that's a very sweet, a very easy going down, a really nice flavored cocktail. Simple and easy white Russian. My love, would you want to try? Sure. She likes coffee. I'm not the biggest. Taste the coffee? I do taste the coffee. Now, truth be known, she gave me one of these. And I know why, because she doesn't like spirit forward cocktails. The more this sits in the ice, <laughs> the more it sits in the glass, the more that spirit will tone down. But the flavor of the coffee is pretty good? Yeah. Okay, good deal. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna set this right over here. And now we're gonna mix up one the SLB way. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one. I have another single rocks glass right here ready to go. We're going to get rid of this cream and we're going to set up this little bottle right here and we'll get to that in just a minute. So let's get started mixing up the SLB White Russian. 
We're going to start again with one ounce of vodka. That's going to stay the same. Again, we're going to mix it right in the glass. Now what I want to do with our Kahlua or our coffee liqueur, I'm just going to pour three quarter of an ounce. Three quarter of an ounce of coffee liqueur of your choice, right in the glass. Now, if you have a nut liqueur at home of any kind, right here I have a Dumonte. I, I had a little bit of this for an after dinner drink at a restaurant and I just fell in love with it. This is a pistachio liqueur. It is fabulous. So what I want to do is I'm just going to pour a quarter ounce. Now I have this pistachio liqueur, just a quarter ounce so you, you, know, you get that full ounce of the coffee and the pistachio liqueur, but whatever you might have at home. If you have a uh, walnut liqueur, I've seen a macadamia nut liqueur, any of that would work just fine. So just a quarter ounce, that's it. Now, here's the fun part. We have a little squeezy bottle here. Now this is filled again with heavy cream, not 50-50, not whole milk, none of that. Heavy cream. And what I have here is a spring from one of my strainers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cap off and we're going to put this right in the bottle. Now what I want to do is of course I want to put my finger over the top so it don't make a huge mess. This might take a minute or two. Tread may cut it out. He may not. I'm not sure. But I'm going to shake this as vigorously as I can until I get the heavy crane to be a little bit more whipped. Because what we want to do is we want to layer that then on top of this white Russian. Ah, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So, let's get started. Babe, I'm still making a mess. I see that. <laughs> I gotta change bottles. Okay, we're back. We're gonna try round two. I changed bottles. I think we had a defective bottle. Of course, we had to have, right? So let's get started once again. Shaking this. We want to build this up so we have a little bit of a fluffy cream going on in there. All right, every once in a while, just want to give it a little bit of a test and see what you got. That's looking pretty good. A little bit more. We're almost there. We're on the home stretch. I think that'll be good. <laughs> I think that'll be good. All right. That was a little bit of a clown show, but that's okay. I want to take my mixing spoon now and just incorporate the ingredients that I have already in the glass. Now I want to try my best to layer the cream right on top. What? Look at that. Honey. And there you have the SLB white Russian. Mm. That is really good actually. I could drink that even though I really don't like coffee that much. That cream on top now that we've got a nice mix and a whip going on with that cream is like decadent. It's like really really good. And just by adding a quarter ounce of a nut liqueur as we did today with the pistachio liqueur. It really adds an amazing depth of flavor, it really does. Now we have the basic white Russian, nothing wrong with that. Anybody can mix that at home, it's gonna be just fine. But if you mix this and you take a few extra minutes, maybe without the mess like I had 
to whip up some of this cream, you're gonna have an amazing white rush with not a lot of ingredients or effort. So I surely hope that you enjoyed the show today. Thanks, man, Wolfgang, for, for asking for the white rush, and I had a blast trying to figure out you know, what we can do just for a basic white Russian and what we can do to elevate the cocktail. So I had a great time. I appreciate your suggestion. Everybody, please do me a favor and drink responsibly. That's very important to the show. And then we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See ya.